Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about what is new in this update and what is the game plan for this week as it is the last week before version 2 kicks in. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want you to do the moment that you log in is to go to your systems, go to get campaign items and receive item account. You will have received the NGS second anniversary special gift, which is 10 special scratch tickets, two creative spaces special edition tickets, as well as an end color change pass. So make sure to pick that up. The next thing I want to talk about is if there is a keyword, please check the description below because I am recording this one day in advance. So I don't know if there's a keyword in the headline plus yet, but if there is, it will be in the description below it will be literally at the very top okay so uh, there you go the next thing i want to talk about is the dazzling chaos suppression operation 2023 there is currently a boost effect active for it as you can see right here rare drop rate plus 50 percent as well as seasonal points acquired plus 50 percent i personally will be spamming the living daylights out of this limited time quest for the next two days the reason for this is because i want to buy out the entire event shop now for the Defi capsules themselves, if you don't care about dual quest or if you completed dual quest already, you do not need to buy the Defi capsules. They cost a lot of seasonal points. So if you don't care about them, just skip them. The reason I say this is because with the version two update, these Defi capsules, especially the phase one version, so the P01s are gonna be very easily obtainable. The reason is because they're introducing phase two of the dual quest. So phase one is basically gonna be outdated content and and they're basically going to give all these capsules for free. So if you want to save your seasonal points because you have better things to purchase or other things that you need to buy, you can skip all of the Defi capsules. As you can see from my event shop, I am skipping all of the Defi capsules because I've already completed the dual quest. So there's absolutely no reason for me to purchase these because they have absolutely no value for me. However, something that you should be buying are going to be the weapons. I highly recommend you buy all of the weapons. You're not going to be buying them because you're going to use them later down the line you're buying them because you're going to be using this for fodder for your nine star rarity weapon remember with the version 2 update we will be able to enhance our weapons and our armor to plus 70. the moment we get it to plus 70 we will unlock an additional augmentation slot so we'll get six augment slots now the reason why you want to buy out all of these weapons is because they are already augmented to plus 51 and they are of the eight star rarity weapon. So they're gonna give you a substantial amount of EXP when you start enhancing your nine star rarity weapon, which comes out with the version two update. But remember the nine star rarity weapons, as well as the enhancement plus 70 does not come out until the 14th, all right? So we do get the version two update on the seventh, but we have to wait another week before we can actually get the enhancements to level 70, get our extra augmentation slot, our level cap increases to level 75, all of that is on the second week, so the 14th of June. So on the 7th of June, all we're really getting in terms of content is going to be the storyline and then the new skills. But with that being said, I highly recommend people to buy out all of these weapons because you're going to be using all of these weapons as fodder in order to enhance your weapons for a much lower price instead of farming for the new material, which are the Golden Prim Swords 2 as well as the Golden Prim Armors 2. Now while we're at it, you also want to make sure you buy out the Vita Armors as well because remember our armors are also going to be able to be enhanced to plus 70, so you're going to need need some sort of fodder in order to enhance all of your armors to plus 70. So the plus 50 Vita armor is the perfect fodder. Now on top of all of that, of course, we're going to need to purchase all of the important capsules because we're going to have six augment slots on our weapons as well as our armors. That's an extra augment slot. So you're going to want to make sure that you have your mastery force, your gigas force, all of your different souls, as well as the alpha reactors. There's a lot of free money in the event shop. You should really pick them up, sell all the alpha reactors, cash out so that when Ver version 2 rolls around you are prepared and you can upgrade all of your stuff without being bottlenecked or time gated. The next thing I want to talk about is the Aegis Integra Exchange over here. Again, the HAL finales. Please, please, please do not sleep on the HAL finales. You got your Stia Dominas, your Kavars Dominas, your Red Ale Dominas, as well as your Aegis Souls. Collect all of these so that you can create your HAL finales. Because the moment the 9 star rarity weapons become available, a lot of people are going to be upgrading their weapons. And since you have 6 augment slots, that's an extra slot for an extra augment. So a lot of people are going to try to put HAL finales, especially the min maxers. So if you're 
a free to play player or a casual player, this is a very good way to make a lot of money. Because even now with the economy being this slow and a lot of people going like, oh my god, the game's ruined, I'm quitting the game, the prices for how finales are still going pretty strong. So these prices are going to increase dramatically the moment people realize, oh, I have an extra augment slot, what should I put in there? And the min-maxers are going to be like, all right, I want the thing with the highest potency, what augment gives me the most potency? Other than, of course, the XD capsules, the next follow-up is going to be the how finales. So people are going to want to put these onto their armors as well as their weapons, thus increasing the demand, which will decrease the supply and increase the price. All right. Now, other than that, if for whatever reason you have not used your Slayer Operation preparation tickets, this is your last chance to use them. You need to use your tickets before the main sense because, well, you know, the exchange shop is literally going away. Now, as for the rest of my game plan, it is literally to stock up as many NG second anniversary special scratch tickets as I can as well as make sure that I log in every single day in order to get the second anniversary thankful tickets because again these are the AC scratch tickets and these are just free star gems basically so I do want to make sure that I do collect as many of these as possible. Now keep in mind you have two weeks to spend the ticket itself so you don't need to panic you can spend the entirety of this week just farming the tickets and you don't need to spend them immediately because the banner itself doesn't go away until June 14 and that also applies to the NGS special scratch as well. So this week is literally just farm like crazy, get all of the tickets, farm as much seasonal points so that you can buy out the seasonal shop, and that's pretty much going to be the main focus. Now some of you guys may have noticed that, Carol, you said that you were going to go crazy for the next two days only, but we have an entire week. Why are you only going crazy for the next two days? And the reason is because Diablo 4 is releasing. So I did pay to win and I did pre-purchase the deluxe edition or whatever, which gives me four days early access. So basically starting from June 2nd for me, I am going to be living, breathing, eating Diablo 4 for the next who knows how long until version 2 kicks in. Because of that, I want to make sure that I get everything out of the way in the next couple days so that I can fully enjoy Diablo 4. But don't worry, I will still have NGS daily uploads. This is one of the main reasons why I'm recording today. I'm basically batch recording a bunch of videos so that there's still going to be daily PSO2 content. But just understand from June 2nd onward, I am going to be playing a lot of Diablo 4 because Diablo has always been a game that I personally really, really enjoyed. I love the loot grind in Diablo 4. The reviews for the game have been fantastic and I have very, very high hopes and I can't wait to play it. So it's going to be my quote unquote mini vacation from NGS. I'm still going to log in every day, of course, to just get the tickets, do my dailies, but that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing. So it's like 10 to 15 minutes of NGS and then back to like 12 hours of Diablo every single single day. That's pretty much my game plan. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!